Welcome my viewers, my learners, to our next lesson under Unit 3, Active and Passive Voice. You remember last time we looked at, um, uh, we looked at um, the introduction to active and passive voice. And now in lesson two, under unit three, we are going to look at um, conjugation of passive voice in different tenses. Conjugation of passive voice in different um, uh, tenses. Now, when we talk about tenses, we have basically three tenses. That is present, future, and past tense. But you have to realize that under each, under each major tense, it is subdivided into four uh, subcategories, subcategories, so, or sub tenses. Let me use sub tenses. So, what we are going to look at today, we are going to seriously look at how passive uh, voice sentences change in different uh, subtenses. So you will find, for instance, in present tense, we have simple present tense. We have simple present continuous tense. We have simple uh, present perfect tense, and we have uh, present perfect continuous tense three. And the same subtenses are found in the past tense as well as in the future tense. So this brings uh, the total to 12 of them. So this is what exactly we are going to get into. So what are we saying here? We can form the passive in any tense. We can form the passive in any tense, meaning either in present tense, in future tense, and in past tense, but also under various sub-tenses found within the major uh, three tenses. In fact, conjugation of verbs in the passive tense is rather easy as the main verb is always in the past participle form and the auxiliary verb is always be. The auxiliary verb is always be. So what are we saying here? We are saying that to form the required tense, we conjugate the auxiliary verb. So for example, Present simple, present simple, it is meant. Present continuous, it is being made. Present perfect, it has been made. Present perfect continuous, it is, it is being, sorry, it has been being made. It has been being made. That is how we should understand that. So here are some examples with most of the possible tenses. Like you take press, simple present, it is washed. Simple past, it was washed. Simple future, it will be washed. It will be washed. Then conditional, simple conditional, it would be washed. It would be washed. It would be washed. Now let us go to Present continuous. Present continuous, it is being washed. Past continuous, it was being washed. 
future continuous, it will be being washed. Then, I mean, conditional continuous, it would be being washed. So, what about perfect simple present? Present perfect simple, it has been washed. Perfect simple past, it had been washed. Past simple future, it will have been washed. And future, future conditional, it would have been washed. What about present perfect continuous? Present perfect continuous, it has been being washed. Past perfect continuous, it has been being washed. Future perfect continuous, it will have been being washed. Conditional perfect continuous, it would have been being washed. So we are saying that only transitive verbs, only transitive verbs, that is those verbs that take objects, can be transformed into passive construction. So we are saying it's not all verbs that can be conjugated into passive constructions, but only transitive verbs. And what are transitive verbs? Transitive verbs are those that take objects, meaning can be transformed into a passive construction. Furthermore, active sentences containing certain verbs cannot be transformed into passive constructions or structures. How? To have, for example, to have. You see, to have is an infinity. It has to, then it has have, which is the best. So, to have is the most important of these verbs. We can say he has a new car. He has a new car. But we cannot say a new car is had by him. You see, we cannot say a new car is had by him. It can't work. We can say Josephina lacked finances. But we cannot say finances was lacked by whatever. So here is a brief list of such a verbs that don't take um, don't can, in whichever sentence they are, they are found in, that particular sentence cannot be conjugated into passive structures. Resemble, look like, equal, agree with, mean, contain, whole, comprise, lack, suit, fit, become. Those are verbs that cannot be conjugated into passive voice. So let us move to another step where we want to look at how can you recognize active and passive sentences? How can you recognize active and passive sentences? Meaning what characteristics, what features can you be able to see for you to be able to tell that this sentence is active voice sentence and this sentence is passive voice sentence? Number one, find the subject. That's the main character of the sentence, the doer of the action. Number two, find the main verb, the action that the sentence identifies. And number three, examine the relationship between the subject and the main verb. So what are you really doing here? You would be asking yourself the following questions. 
does the subject perform the action of the verb? If so, the sentence is active. I'm saying, does the subject perform the action of the main verb? If so, the sentence is active. Number two, does the subject sit there while something else named or unnamed performs an action on it? If so, the sentence is passive. Like when you get a sentence like this one, the person was robbed, the person was robbed. Then number three, can't tell, can't tell. If the main verb is a linking verb, for example, is, was, are, seems, to be, becomes, etc., then the verb functions like an equal sign. Therefore, is no action involved. It merely describes a state of being, but not an action. So, active and passive overview. So we shall be seeing a sentence in active and passive. Simple present. Once a week, Ukbad cleans the house. Passive. Once a week, the house is cleaned by Ukbad. Present continuous. Right now, Warsame is writing the letter. Right now, Warsame is writing the letter. Passive voice. Right now, the letter is being written by Warsame. Right now, the letter is being written by Warsame. Simple past. Is Kese prepared the car. Kese prepared the car. Passive voice. The car was repaired by Kaise. The car was repaired by Kaise. Past continuous. Past continuous. The salesman was helping the customer when the thief came into the store. The salesman was helping the customer when the thief came into the store. Passive voice, the customer was being helped by the salesman when the thief came into the store. The customer was being helped by the salesman when the thief came into the store. Present perfect, present perfect. Active voice, many tourists have visited our town. Many tourists have visited our town. Passive voice, our town has been visited by many tourists. Our town has been visited by many tourists. Present perfect continuous. Present perfect continuous. Active voice. Recently, asthma has been doing the work. Recently, asthma has been doing the work. Passive voice. Recently, the work has been being done by asthma. Recently, the work has been being done by asthma. Let us look at past perfect, past perfect. 
Adam had repaired many cars before he received his mechanic license. Adam had repaired many cars before he received his mechanics license. Passive voice, many cars had been repaired by Adam before he received his mechanics license. Many cars had been repaired by Adam before he received his mechanics license. Past perfect continuous. Past perfect continuous. If Abdi had been preparing the restaurant's fantastic dinners for two years before he moved to Addis Ababa, Chef Abdi had been preparing the restaurant's fantastic dinners for two years before he moved to Addis Ababa. Passive voice, the restaurant's fantastic dinners had been being prepared by Chef Abdi for two years before he moved to Addis Ababa. The restaurant's fantastic dinners had been being prepared by Chef Abdi for two years before he moved to Addis Ababa. Symbol future, but when we are using will. Remember when I was teaching you on tenses, I told you future tense is a will tense, but it also takes going, going, or in, in, and I will show you how it goes. So will, someone will finish the work by 5 p.m. Someone will finish the work by 5 p.m. Passive voice, the work will be finished by 5 p.m. The work will be finished by 5 p.m. That is simple future, but with the usage of will. Let us see simple future, but with be going to. Nora is going to make a beautiful dinner tonight. Nora is going to make a beautiful dinner tonight. That's active voice. What about passive voice? A beautiful dinner is going to be made by Nora tonight. A beautiful dinner is going to be made by Nora tonight. Let us move to future continuous, but with the will. Future continuous, but with the usage of will. At 8 p.m. tonight, Jamila will be washing the dishes. At 8 p.m. tonight, Jamila will be washing the dishes. That's active voice. What about passive voice? At 8 p.m. tonight, the dishes will be being washed by Jamila. At 8 p.m. tonight, the dishes will be being washed by Jamila. Let us look at future continuous but with be going to. So in active voice for the future continuous but with the usage of be going to, we would say at 8 p.m. tonight, Jamila is going to be washing the dishes. At 8 p.m. tonight, Jamila is going to be washing the dishes. What about passive voice? At 8 p.m. tonight, the dishes are going to be being washed by Jamila. At 8 p.m. tonight, the dishes are going to be being washed by Jamila.
Now let us look at future perfect. Future perfect, but with will. They will have completed the project before the deadline. They will have completed the project before the deadline. What about the perfect, the passive voice? The project is going to have been completed before the deadline. The project is going to have been completed before the deadline. Let us move to future perfect continuous. Future perfect continuous, but using will. Active voice. The famous artist will have been painting the wall for over six months by the time it is finished. The famous artist will have been painting the wall for over six months by the time it is finished. What about passive voice? The wall will have been being painted by the famous artist for over six months by the time it is finished. The wall will have been being painted by the famous artist for over six months by the time it is finished. Let us move to future perfect continuous but with the usage of be going to, be going to. So active voice, the famous artist is going to have been painting the wall for over six months by the time it is finished. The famous artist is going to have been painting the wall for, the, for over six months by the time it is finished. What about the passive voice? The wall is going to have been being painted by the famous artist for over six months by the time it is finished. Again, the wall is going to have been being painted by the famous artist for over six months by the time it is finished. Let us move to used to, used to. You can say Khalid used to pay the bills. Khalid used to pay the bills. That is active voice. What about uh, passive voice? In passive voice, you can say the bills used to be paid by Khalid. You can say the bills used to be paid by let us move to would always, would always. Remember, you don't pronounce L. L is silent. So, would always. So, you can say in active voice. My mother would always make the pies. My mother would always make the pies. What about the passive voice. The pies would always be made by my mother. The pies would always be made by my mother. Let us move to future in the past. Ha, ha, ha. Future in the past. Look at that. <laughs> We want, to, we want to conjugate a passive voice in future. Let me come again. Future in the past. Future in the past. Look at that. So if there is future in the past, when was the present of that future? That's the question. So now listen keenly. That is future in the past. I knew 
Ferreira would finish the work by 5 p.m. I knew Ferreira would finish the work by 5 p.m. Passive voice, I knew the work would be finished by 5 p.m. by Fiera. I knew the work would be finished by 5 p.m. by Fiera. Yes, what about future in the past? Future in the past, but with was going to, was going to, was going to. I'm talking about future in the past, future in the past. So what am I saying? I thought her bone was going to make a beautiful dinner tonight. I thought her bone was going to make a beautiful dinner tonight. What about the passive? I thought a beautiful dinner was going to be made by Habun tonight. Not tonight, that night. I thought a beautiful dinner was going to be made by Habun that night, that night. So what are, what are we actually saying here? So below are a number of exercises which will help you uh, actually to practice active and passive voice and that will help you very much. Uh, so this brings us to the end of a uh, conjugation of a uh, passive voice. That brings us to the end of conjugation of passive voice. And therefore, it also brings us to the end of unit three, that is active and passive voice. It brings us to the end of unit three, uh, that is active and passive voice. Otherwise, thank you very much. Welcome. If you are pumping onto this video for the first time, give it a thumb up, subscribe, and anytime I make uh, such videos, YouTube will automatically uh, notify you. And therefore, you get following me as I produce many more uh, uh, videos in English. Otherwise, thank you for listening. See you in the next unit where we shall be looking at conditionals, where we shall be looking at conditionals. Otherwise, thank you, thank you.